<laughs> and I was like, oof. I mean, yeah, that, that's. I mean, I, I like. Smoked a little bit in my room, did the lines again, and I was like, okay, I, I, felt, I read it how I wanted to, but then when I got there, I was so paranoid. Because auditions are also, they're never like right, it's like, go to this room, go to this building, check in here, do this, then work. So, like, it was so many steps by the time I got there, I was just paranoid. Of course. And, and I was like, I just, you know. And you're in there, you're in the waiting room, everyone fucking looks like you, and then you walk in, and there's like three producers, one reader, one casting director, yeah. and then it's, it, it, it is the most not organic place in the world. No. It's literally the opposite of acting. I love me a good self tape, I, and I don't know what the, the turnover rate of booking shit on self tape. Really but, bad. Really bad. No, I mean, no it's I think terrible. Of just click, 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 click. But they come to being in your own home. Oh, do you have as, so as many takes as you want? Yep. Bam. Dude, with self tapes, dude, you gotta come out with some fucking crazy shit. Yeah, dude. And I don't, I don't, I don't even know what the etiquette is. Do you go behind a bright wall? Where do you go? Go behind it. Right. Because oh, I saw oh, somebody yeah, yeah. posting, like, and then they're like in front of this giant blue wall. Like, this my phone. Did you, did you ever see this um, T.J. Miller self tape when he did? Uh, it's not Smokey the Bear. What movie was he in? This one was. Uh, it was, no, it was a live action version. Yogi of Bear? Thank you, Yogi Bear. So he auditioned for Yogi Bear and they did not want him auditioning. So he did a self tape at the fucking zoo and did his lines with an actual bear. And he ended up booking him. He's also crazy. I mean, at that point, yeah. yeah. If you don't book him after that, then. Yeah, but, that, but that's definitely going with, with uh, self tapes. You have to, like, come crazy. By the way, guys, the difference is I don't know if you at all. And if you do, you can come to the fucking but if you audition for something, sometimes you go into a casting room with a bunch of casting directors and they, they tape you there. Or sometimes your agent or manager will send you a script and you could tape the audition like at your house. So, so yeah. which is a subject. I mean, as many mean, tries as you want, but it's also awkward because then you have to ask your roommate to do it to like, help read the And he's never an actor? Uh, no. And, <laughs> nope. Dude. Or they try to overact it. And it's, it's like they try to deliver the line, like they're, they're reading a girl's part and they're like, oh, what do you mean, Jeffrey? I was like, it's an Uber driver, right? Yeah, also, not. you're not going to book it, man. Can you, you're, you're not going to book the job. Right. Dude, my ex um, sent a self-tape in. We used to self-tape with this other friend. Um, cast, or, I'm sorry, her agent eventually. Can you not self-tape with him? Because all the casting agents hate his voice. You? No, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was her friend. She would do self tape with him. And her friend like had like a little bit of an accent, and they were just like they were like it's, it's such a thick accent, it's like distracting Jeez. the audition. Wow. And I was like, God, three minutes damn. left. You're in the lead. It'd be funny if he booked something. <laughs> oh, I know. You want him to audition? Like, oh, God damn it, this guy again. This guy's fucking great. Who the hell? Um, shit, yo, Gabriel, do you have any updates? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta set some shit straight. I did hear from uh, Avery Rutkowski. Avery, you almost fucked that up, dude. <laughs> Close. <laughs> is it Brian or Brain? That's a good question, dude, because who knows, who knows how to spell that word? So she says, uh, my husband and I fucking love your podcast. Oh, yeah. We just That's finished so. episode 38, and of course love it, but I wanted to Thank add you. some input on the condom being lost. So I think this is, remember there was a story where someone had sex and then forgot that there was a condom in there and just it for some period of time? Right, she walked around. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Avery says, I couldn't personally, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't personally see how I would know that the condom was gone, but I do understand how you, would, how you wouldn't feel it if you didn't know it was there. I described it to my husband that I wouldn't feel a tampon all day if I was wearing one, so I don't think I would feel a condom. Listen, the first thing that comes to my head is I, maybe I get it, because if you don't put something in your pocket, and you're, if it's something big and you walk around with it, eventually you forget that it's in your pocket. So if it's sort of like that, I mean, because a vagina is essentially a lady pocket, right? You can put all types of things in there. <laughs> so if you want to put That's like, all it is. Yeah, if you want to put like a Game Boy in there, you're going to forget eventually that the Game Boy's in there, right? I just want to know when did people start putting ping pong balls in the vaginas and just shooting them out? I would like to know how you, like, because that's a thing, right? Oh, yeah. Right. So, when do you, at what point in your life do you go, I'm going to give this a try? <laughs> you know what I mean? How, bro, when, when? I'll tell you what. When you're born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Is nearly <laughs> you go, well, we're number seven on the list. Time to make it number one. God damn. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, also, the you walk around.